Greetings. This is the last kit that I'm going to offer up for trade. It's a much more substantial kit, very complete and large. So, I don't know. You tell me what you have and we'll see um, what we can trade for. So, this kit starts out with um, whole papers. And if I remember right, it's because I didn't want to cut them. Um, it's based on, um, it's from the Die Cuts with the View, um, oh, what is the name of this collection? It's, well, here it is. I didn't want to cut it because it was really hard to cut it equitably. Like if you cut it six by six, you're going to cut that flower in half and that's just not right. So. It comes with full 12 by 12 sheets and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten full 12 by 12 sheets of the pattern paper. So here's one of them. And here's another. And this really, this says Valentine's to me and springtime. Here's one. Look at this gorgeous medallion flower. And this one. This is this has got glitter all over it. It's just gorgeous. Um, and this one. Even the parts that don't have the bird are just beautiful. And this one. And this is just lovely. This paper is just gorgeous. And as you can see, this isn't the dregs. This is the good stuff. This has got glitter on it and glitter along the top. Still have the adhesive at the top. Um, this one has these two little birds and then it says friends. Um, this, is a, this is a gorgeous paper. It's glittery here. And then an entire um, page of these cutouts that some of them are Hall or sorry Valentine's Day. Some of them you could make cards with, good times, dream big, love. It just says Valentine's Day, wonderful you. I think this is probably a Valentine's Day collection. Um, included in the collection will be um, some beautiful club scrap card stock. This has a heavy um, kind of a medium texture I'd say and it looks like fabric you can't really see it on the screen but it's a beautiful blue um, this piece you can't see it either the texture it's just divine well maybe you can kind of see that texture it's got kind of a neat um, almost flower petal texture it's a beautiful rose color this is just a nice piece of chocolate colored cardstock it has a slight linen texture. This cardstock, you definitely can't see. Um, it has some little brown flecks and things. It's a beautiful cardstock. Um, and then I printed up some vintage things. This I'm not selling this, I'm trading it. So um, these come off of the graphics fairy. I printed them on um, matte photo paper. So they're just different birds and be a gift. Call it a free gift in addition to the collection. Um, so those are vintage birds. You'll get an entire sheet. Um, this is the beautiful Stampin' Up! Ultra Smooth um, white cardstock. Whisper White, I guess. And um, I've stamped the Stampin' Up! journaling spot on there because I thought these would be great journaling spots for this collection. Um, my inspiration, um, I wanted to make, and I've made obviously a collection for myself, I'm going to make a, an envelope mini, and I bought these at a local office supply, it's not really, it's a paper supply, and they, they're really wonderful envelopes. So you'll get six of these beautiful blue, and I would say that's almost, it's got a hint of, of, a, of an almost turquoise but not quite and 
then two of the same size in this. Well, actually, you get three of them because I stuffed some of the um, embellishments in these beautiful vellum envelopes. So a total of nine envelopes that um, were meant to help you create your mini. Let me just get these papers out of the way so you can see the embellishments. Um, this is jam-packed full of stuff. I printed a lot of it off of my silhouette. There's tags that look like this and you've just got to come in and pull out some of the little things but they're really a beautiful tag um, on a cream and it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Um, a little bird on a branch that I cut out with my silhouette. Um, these are tags that I cut out with my silhouette and they literally tear so they're like and this is all on acid-free paper. These are some little flowers. Again, they still need to have these little giblets pulled out, but they're really lacy and beautiful. All the leaves look like that one. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if you can see this. I didn't want to take all the giblets out because I was worried it's delicate and um, I don't want it to get mashed up in the shipping, but I think you can see the design and all of these pieces come out and it leaves an outline. It's really lovely. A um, couple of birds on a branch. I cut out, I created um, these little tiny envelopes with my silhouette and inside of them there's um, vellum butterflies. Looks like they're all vellum butterflies. Maybe I'll just kind of spill them out and count them. Oh, I've got a couple little vellum flowers in there too, and it looks like you get two, three, four, five butterflies and oh, five to ten flowers. Anyway, and that they're in that. And then in this vellum envelope, I stuffed it full of these little round tagger dealies. And it looks like I've got two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, around eight of these. And they just go in here. Um, these large flowers I had cut out as part of the, when I made the homemade, handmade flowers to go with the collection. Um, this one has, is sprayed with a, Pearl, micro pearl, and this one was stamped with a music note. And then you get some stamped images um, from various companies. This, I believe, is Club Scrap, and this is the Angel Company, and all of them are in Stays on Ink. So these are not ones that you can just ink them up and do whatever you want to. There's a Club Scrap. Um, postcard type thing. And this is all stamped on Whisper White, Stampin' Up! Whisper White. Um, so, this is a cutout sheet that I had from forever. It's got perfume bottles and different things. If you don't like that, you can always turn over and use the back. And it's on a beautiful buttery color. And a couple of shipping tags that I had. One of them's printed, one's not and a journaling that has a bird and it says details and um, top note shape another tag so random bits of tags and different things different goodies to go with this collection and that's the paper stuff oh vellum i don't want to damage it you're very delicate okay um, let's push that aside. This is the ribbons and fibers that I have um, collected together. A beautiful wide um, satin that has two sides. It's lighter on one side than the other. Um, this is a wired organdy. Um, organdy. Um, a beautiful lace a fiber, 
I think it's about 12 inches on these. This is really gorgeous. This is a lovely lace trim, stitched edged satin. Just a little satin ribbon, a little blue, uh, pink, sorry, purple. <laughs> pink with the stitched edge. Um, ribbon or lace, some twill. So just some rickrack. I went fiber and ribbon crazy with this collection. Um, more fibers. The ribbon. Beautiful pink satin. I don't know if you can it's it's pink. It's not picking up pink. A lovely mustardy yellow trim. A little pretty and um, just a simple and then as far as goodies there's tons of flowers in this there's a whole collection of my handmade flowers and they have these buttons and dewdrop centers one has flower soft in the middle this um, Battenberg lace piece, some regular, um, these are fabric, just regular little Prima type flowers. These are Prima E-lines. I've got, hmm, looks like about five of those, and those are white, so you can ink them up however you want. Um, lots and lots of flowers, lots of handmade flowers with various different and I had one of them was Music Note, and one of them was, and the other um, selection was Pink. So it's all, but it, you get that whole pile of flowers. And then in here, you get um, die cuts made out of the light, kind of light to medium weight chipboard. There's the bird cage and the bird from Tim Holtz, uh, the swirl. You get these two um, stamp frames and this swirl frame or this scallop frame um, and it has the bird's wing in there it's all in there and then just a huge collection of bits and baubles I don't know if you can even gosh it's really hard to even see and I hate to take it out and get it all messy but there's little die cuts of various sizes little hearts little tiny tags little swirl um, there's um, one of these, some tiny butterfly sequins, um, a little shrinky dink charm that I made, a collection of those little square self-adhesive tiles, um, a collection of the dew drops that have been um, alcohol inked, a piece of this this is for the Yerdimo labeler. It's in pink. Um, buttons. Several buttons. This little tile. The swirl. Um, this is a puzzle piece that's been painted and you can just modify it. Um, a little heart. Paper clip. Um, little flower bling. Looks like there's some brads in there. Just, I mean, this thing is jam-packed full. There's bling in there, like regular bling, like, like that. Um, just all kinds of stuff. There's probably, I would say, there's at least seven, maybe ten buttons in there. Just various little bits and bobs that you can use. So that collection is, this this um, kit is pretty full. I only have one of them. Um, so just contact me and tell me what you think. You might want to trade for it if you like it. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, it's it's pretty full. It's got lots of stuff, so it's pretty complete. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all my kits to show you. Thank you for watching. Bye.